Born 15th of January 1929 was Martin Luther King Jr., arguably the most influential and leading individual leading the American Black Civil Rights Movement. Back within this time, that racism reached its zenith of negativity, a world of being unfair and unequal. Just years before his assassination, on the 4th of April 1968, was his famous I Have a Dream speech. Martin Luther King Jr., or actually, Michael Luther King Jr. Martin was born with the name Michael, later to be changed to Martin, a decision he had made with his grandfather. Him and a large fraction of his family were actually priests, his grandfather preaching at Ebenezer from 1914 to 1931, his father till 1948, and Martin himself until his death. Martin went to public schools, graduating high school at the age of 15, with a satisfying BA grade, allowing him to go to Morehouse College. Martin, even during school period, preached at the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montauk, in Mont... Montgomery. During this time, Luther had joined a civil rights organization called the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. A decade post to this, 1957, he was elected for president of the South Christian Leadership Conference after looking up to, taking inspiration and techniques from Gandhi, another influential figure. King traveled millions of miles, wrote books, articles, spoke to hundreds and more, all with the purpose of representing his race and his community. His most fascinating, achieving and inspiring moment was his I Have a Dream speech. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King. This speech occurred on 28th of August 1968 and was organised by President Lyndon B. During the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, with the goal to end racism in the United States. What's interesting is this speech was very powerful and everyone showed such influence towards it. Yet obviously, Martin didn't reach his goal from this speech, considering what's been going on in our days today. Although this is true, the civil rights movement was brought awareness to and the name Martin Luther King had been well more known than before. Luther during the speech, I Have a Dream, had a discussion of American history he points out the significance of the place and time of the protests. Furthermore, Martin Luther King dreamt that all inhabitants of the US of, U, of the United States would be judged by their personal qualities and not just by their color of skin. Perhaps to emphasize disagreement or dominance, 250,000 racists marched to Washington Lincoln Memorial, where King gave his speech a year later and presented with violence. The assassination, the conspiracy roams around till this day that Luther's murder was worked on alone, even after all the racists after blood. Even having the head of the FBI as a friend, being put under observation, had they managed to achieve what they wanted. Martin's parents believed that it was the US government and the mafia that wanted him dead and assumed by Lloyd Joers in 1993 had King been shot on top of a balcony at Lorraine Motel by James Earl Ray. How did Martin Luther King Jr. make such an impact? Martin during this time had made such an immense impact to society. Some of the short-term effects were King becoming more known. King had torn those against him down and brought awareness to the fact that African Americans needed civil rights. He proved to everyone how such controversial things can be changed for good without violence. Hence, the long-term effects. African Americans did get civil rights in the end. Comparing then to now, we are, we are immensely more fair to black and overall more equal. Later to be talked about is the Black Lives Matter movement. Ironically, the Black Lives Matter movement did show how there is a fraction of us in the world that won't understand equality, but the movement showed that there are a large fraction that do. If not, then why did the movement even occur? 
What is Black Lives Matter? Why had it gotten so much respect and awareness? Black Lives Matter is a political, society and community movement going against the unfair treating of black people, wanting to end police brutality, gaining awareness after an individual that goes by the name of George Floyd was brutally killed by a police officer. George's last words being, I can't breathe, as the officer's elbow was cultivated into George's neck. Many others than George have to suffer or experience this discrimination that officers bring awareness to. This being more than eight years ago, Black Lives Matter began with Patrice Colors, Opal Tometi, and Lysia Grazer. These three started the Black Lives Matter movement in 2013, after George Zimmerman shot dead an unarmed black individual, Trayvon Martin. Protests have been and continue to erupt time and time again, justice shows to find its way each time, only to eventually come back. Relating to Martin Luther King, I think the Black Lives Matter movement could relate from the civil rights movement. Without it, would people even care about equality or the rights for black people? I'm Lone Wolf. Awoo! I hope you all enjoyed listening. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.